Many stroke patients face months and sometimes years of rehabilitation as they try to regain the ability to do what were once simple everyday tasks. But now the Royal Bournemouth has become the first NHS hospital to use an exercise robot to help patients learn how to walk again. Our health correspondent Alistair Fee has more. Half man, half robot. This is a team effort that's getting stroke patients like Paul back on their feet again. This machine will help me a lot because I have the, I can move my legs but the path between the brain and the uh, motor function for the legs isn't so good. It's called a walker bot and is the first walking robot available on the NHS in the country. Essentially that is a, a treadmill that can hold a patient in a harness so they're really safe um, so they can walk on the treadmill but it also has robotics which attach to the person's legs so the robotics can enable somebody who otherwise is um, unable to step to take steps as part of their therapy and rehab with us. After a stroke patients are encouraged to walk a thousand steps a day to allow their brains to rewire. This will make that much easier. It will mean we can start patients taking steps much earlier, which means hopefully it will then they need to spend less time in hospital and will leave hospital less dependent to be able to do more for themselves. Paul took 300 steps today. A normal 10-minute session would have been just 20. It will mean that they're going to get essentially more therapy because they'll be doing more within their therapy sessions. Um, it requires less therapists to treat, so whereas we might need two, three people to help someone and stand and walk, um, once we are up and running we can operate this with one member of staff. So it's much more um, efficient for us as a therapy team, that helps us to deliver more therapy to more people. At £365,000, this technology comes with a hefty price tag. It was raised after many months of fundraising by the hospital's charity. But patient care is costly too, and a faster recovery will save patient time and reduce pressure on the hospital. Alistair Fee, BBC South Today.